Hello, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to navigate your CorelDRAW user interface. When you launch your CorelDRAW for the first time, okay, so this is how the user interface looks like. You have this get started and workspace. So this is the part one of this video. We're going to have a part two. So in this part one, we're going to be looking at the getting started and the workspace. So getting started, we have uh, new document and existing document so on the workspace these are the things we are going to look at the three major workspace we have on coral draw the standard the touch and the specialty so let's get quickly to the getting started on getting started this plus icon here connects new document so from here you can just click the left click a dialog box com comes up so you can set up the specifics of your new document uh, okay the file name the precept uh, the size of the page you want to use the height and the width the resolution for the color settings i strictly advise you just leave it at what it is here okay so when you do it when you're done with your setup you just click okay and this is what we have okay but now we go back to the welcome screen now the second thing we have here you can see i have two icons so these are files i've worked on already before so if you want to access them from the welcome screen getting started you can actually instead of opening a new file you can click on any of these to launch an existing file that you have worked on before so you just click on it and um, in a few minutes it just loads okay so that's the file all right so I'll just toggle back to the tab and uh, below here we have the what's new, learning, get more, okay? And uh, we have other documents here. You can also, this second part of the screen, you can see you can also open a document that you have worked on before. Here you have, okay, so now you can just see, you just look at wherever the document is saved and you choose and that will open the file for you okay from here you can also open from start new from template so there are some templates that uh, Corel draw have by default okay so if you if, if it's something you care to look at so you can just click on any of them they are already templates okay you can just start out your design from there okay so now to the major second part of this which is the workspace okay we have the standard the touch and the specialties okay coral draw is actually for everyone there's this argument out there which of the software does better is it coral draw illustrator <laughs> maybe i think you should know better just give me drop a comment in the comment section below just let me know which of the tools you think is the best for graphic designs and which one i use it just let me know in the comment section okay so for today on the standard we have the default so this default screen uh default workspace is actually coral says is a coral default workspace has been redefined redesigned to provide a more intuitive placement for tools cursors this workspace is ideal for users who have experience with with other vector graphics softwares as well as users who are familiar with CorelDRAW, okay? So if you're, if you've started CorelDRAW design and you're good at it, okay? So using the default workspace is a nice place to use. And if you're a newbie, you're just starting out, we have the light, okay? CorelDRAW has a workspace that it calls the light. So the light workspace is ideal for new users who are getting started. It features a clean look and feels that especially designed to encourage exploration in a friendly environment. Okay, so just stay to the end of this video. I'm actually going to go through all the screens or the workspace. So we'll just see, take a look at how it looks. I'm just getting to introduce this to you to let you know what they look like. Okay, on the touch, <laughs> this one is very nice actually love this if you are using a tab or or your laptop is a touch screen 
or you're using any device that is a touch screen. So this workspace is actually optimized to enable touch devices work seamlessly with CorelDRAW. So this touch workspace is ideal for field workers, for field work and sketching. Complete your task by using touch dial or a stylus without needing a mouse or a keyboard. So you can see, you can actually do wonderful work with this, all right? So on the specialties, this is where the cocoa has come now. So for those who are already illustrators, okay? You're already using uh, any of the illustration softwares, okay? You want to make an illustration. So Corridor advised that you actually use this workspace. You say illustration workspace is ideal for users who are looking for an intuitive and efficient workflow to create a book cover to create a book cover design magazine ads storyboards and other type of illustrations all right then the next two on our specialty list is the page layout i actually love this because i work with it so much the page layout workspace is optimized for users who are focused on the arrangement of graphics and text objects to create compelling layouts for business cards, branding materials, product packaging, or multiple page documents such as brochures and newsletters. All right. So this is the workspace for you. And the uh, Baba of them or Adobe Illustrator. <laughs> this is actually where the argument is. Like I said, if you think between Adobe Illustrator and Corodro, which one is the best? Just let me know in the comment section below. So this workspace, Adobe Illustrator workspace, this workspace has the look and feel of Adobe Illustrator. This will help you if you're already using Adobe, Adobe Illustrator user. If you're an Adobe Illustrator user, you can actually plug in using CorelDRAW without having to feel that that uh, so much different. So everything every tool will be arranged similar with that of adobe illustrator okay so this workspace is ideal for users who have experience with other vector graphics software as well as users who are familiar with CorelDRAW. so without wasting much of our time let's just go over each and every one of them so let's have a few in no particular order okay let me start with the adobe illustrator workspace I just click on it um just give us give it a few minutes it's going to load all right if you're new to this channel while this is loading uh, and you find value in this tutorial please give it a thumbs up share this will help someone out there okay and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos all right okay so we have the workspace it has loaded okay so let me just get to this Okay, so you can see the tools. If you are an Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator user, you can testify that the tools are actually lined up just in the same manner it is lined up in an Adobe Illustrator environment. Okay, so you can see I have a peek tool and other tools. Okay, let me get back to the welcome screen. Uh, let's do the layout page. Okay, gang, 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 gang. It's coming up in one, two, three. Okay, so this is the Adobe uh, the page layout. This is the page layout. So now you can see. Just take note. You can see the difference in the way the tools are arranged. They are not the same. Okay, that helps you work efficiently. So let's go over to the next one. This is for illustration. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have it. This is illustration. Okay. So this is how it looks. Okay. So you can see the tools, how they are lined up. If you just look, there's something so just significantly different about the way each layer, each uh, uh, workspace look okay 
uh, we have seen the, the default is where we came from. So let's look at light. Okay, I'll save the touch for the last. Let's look at light. Voila, okay, here we have it. So you see, in light, it has fewer tools, it has fewer tools in display, okay, which enables the user to actually makes it user friendly for you to be able to learn fast. All right, okay, so the last and now the least. Okay, let's look at the default before we look at the touch. Okay, default is actually where we started out from. Okay, it's loading. It's almost there. Okay, so we are there. So you can see, this is the default. So where you have all the tools that are nicked into each other, all right? Okay, so the big one for the bigger boys that are using touch screen. The sketch has the drawers. Okay, the there we go, the touch. Okay. Here we go, it's loading, it's loading. Meanwhile, you can see the preview of what it looks like here. Looks so nice. So let me, I can just wait to show you on a wider screen. Okay, it's coming up. Coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so here we have it. Just create a new page so you see how it looks. But la, this is a little touch. It does not look like it. Switch to the touch, okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, that is it. This is a touch. Okay, my screen is actually big, uh, so you can see. You can see how. All right, how few tools you can draw. Okay, if you're looking for any other two, you can see all of them are checked here. Okay, so this is your menu. If you're viewing this actually on the touchpad, you enjoy. You will have that nice feel. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll just switch back to, let's just switch back to the default workspace. Okay. So let's go to the default workspace. Okay. All right. If you have followed this video up to this point, I want to believe uh, you found value. Give it a thumbs up, like and share, and see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.